Marula Mining is an Aquas listed mining and exploration investment company focused in on investments in commodities that are regarded as critical to meeting the demands of green technologies and the battery metals sector. It's recently recorded the biggest volume and value traded on Aquis, which Marula says highlights the increased interest in the business. Let's find out more now with the chief executive, uh, Jason Brewer, who joins us now. Welcome. Thank you very much, Jeremy. You, you say on your website that you aim to disrupt and transform part of the industry you're in. What do you mean by that exactly? I think we're taking a very unique approach in terms of how we, we look to develop our assets very quickly albeit on a small scale, so that we can prove that we can actually operate as a mining company, produce and deliver metals to the global trading commodities uh, groups, and actually just accelerate uh, a development plan which typically would take any other company two, three, maybe even five years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the focus for us. It's about moving forward quickly. So what's your priority? Our priority in terms of commodities is very much those battery metals, ones which are critical to this green transition, mm -hmm. which is critical to, to the new energies that we're all using nowadays. So we're focused on those commodities like lithium, mm -hmm. like graphite, uh, copper, which more of a traditional metal, but is becoming one of the most used metals in, in these electric vehicles, for instance. Mm. And whereabouts in the world are you? You're in Africa, aren't you? And that's where you're focused. What, where very much. Um, Nairobi is my home. So right. I've been living in Nairobi now for well over two, almost three years. Mm -hmm. And I moved there basically to focus and grow a business. So all our, our assets are in Africa, predominantly East Africa, so Tanzania, Kenya. Um, we're involved in Zambia and in South Africa as well. So very much an African focus, but we're growing as well within the African continent. Yeah, and uh, talking about those metals, what is it that you're focused in on at the moment that's gonna give you, deliver, start to deliver revenue? Look, I think all our investors, all our shareholders know of the Blesberg lithium mine. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a producing mine now. This is an asset which we picked up barely six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we mobilised equipment in November and we completed the transaction actually with one of those global trading groups that actually prepaid on delivery of, of lithium. So uh, we have now started production. We have material bagged and ready. It is now being assayed. So we will be commencing sales to them this quarter. Mm. So that's what I think people are most excited about. And lithium, as you know, is in insatiable demand and, and trading at record prices too. Yeah. Um, so what is the offtake arrangement? You just sell to a distributor and they then take it on to the end user or the, or the manufacturer that yeah, changes we've, it into batteries? Yeah, what we did, we actually secured funding which allowed us to, to buy out some of the other shareholders in that project All right, okay. and also allow us to develop it. So we did that through a completely non-dilutive funding arrangement for our shareholders. So that was, I like to think that was pretty smart of us. Mm -hmm. um, but that now has allowed us or committed us to deliver to them just the first 2,000 tonnes. So there's several thousand, several hundred thousand tonnes of material contained in that project. Mm -hmm. We haven't committed long term because we believe the value that is in that asset is very significant. So we've done a small term arrangement with them. After we've delivered the first 2,000 tonnes over, over this quarter, that then leaves us free, unencumbered, to negotiate and finalise a much more longer term arrangement with, with one of those groups. And that will require minimum deliveries on a monthly basis going forward. Will you have to raise any more money or are you now going to start getting money come onto the balance sheet which is going to help pay for further business? What's your plan? Look, I think we're in, again, quite a unique position mm -hmm. as well as having an asset which is going to be generating cash flow. Um, just last month, we announced a transaction with one of South Africa's most successful mining entrepreneurs, a guy called Quinton van der Berg, who runs Q Global Commodities. Um, he's got 10 mines he's operating in South Africa, uh, albeit in coal. He obviously wants to diversify away from that coal business into these, these greener metals. Mm -hmm. um, he's committed to invest £3.75 million pounds into the company, which effectively de-risks us from a funding perspective going forward allows us to, to get on and operate and explore and drill out some of the other projects without having to keep looking over our shoulder and thinking, right, where's the next dollar going to come to to get us to the next level? Mm. So from a funding perspective, I like to think that we aren't going to come to the market. Our shareholders are, can sit there comfortably knowing that both cash flow and this investment from Q Global is going to allow us to really take this company forward. Mm. Let's look at the share price. Um, as I say, Aquis listed. Uh, I know you've got plans to list in other markets, and I think in Africa as well, haven't you? That's correct, that's other, correct. Other markets. We're talking here about the London listed share price. And I was saying at the top about the amount of volume that's going through. I think I'm right in saying, aren't I, that I think you have 
got the the, the 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 crown of being the most heavily traded and most involved stock, I think, on that on that market. I'd love to think recently, that's the case. Yeah, recently, well, that's certainly a quote I've, um, I, I've I've picked up on. What's been priced in at eight point seven five pence? What do you? What is what value is being priced in at these sort of levels? Bearing in mind what you just said. Look, I think you go back six months ago. We're we're trading there two pence or less. Mm-hmm. Um, over the past three months or so, you've seen the rise there, quite significant. Um, I think what people are pricing in is the initial deliveries out of that Blesberg lithium mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, But that is just one out of five assets. We have our copper mine, we have graphite, and we have rare earths, all of which are very critical for for these new industries and energy transitions. So I really don't think you're getting much priced in on those other assets. I think it's purely this initial Blesberg uh, production profile and only just the first couple of months from that. So I think there's a long way to go. Um, The initial prepayments, each month you're generating two and a half million dollars worth of cash flow, Mm -hmm. which is what, one third, one quarter of our our market capitalization at the moment. So, you know, we'd be expecting a trade like many other mining companies and anything from a a 10 to 12 times multiple. So, you know, I I think there's a long way to go. Mm-hmm. And, and Aquis has certainly proven to be a good platform for us over the past past year. Well, I was going to I was going to ask about why why the Aquis listing. I mean, it is it, it 105 companies. I think you're you're mm. part of 105 companies. It's relatively small at the moment, um, but um, from an IG client perspective, there's a lot of interest being built up about this. What what is it that Aquis delivers for you as a, as a small cap company? Look, I think. It's, it's a platform which is very dynamic. Um, the people behind Aquis are certainly trying to achieve an awful lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're trying to catch up on its peer groups here. So it, it's attracting, I guess, a lot more of these junior companies uh, that are looking to raise capital mm-hmm. and raise awareness. Mm-hmm. So I've been very impressed with what's been achieved over the past six months. I, I really am. Mm-hmm. I get people commenting about, oh, you're on Aquis, um, you know, very limited liquidity, trading volumes. And I guess, guys, have a look. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it is possible. It is happening. So I've been very impressed at the way this business has been transformed over that period. And and as you pointed out, our volumes are at record highs. The value traded is at record highs. And I don't see that uh, slowing down in any way. Sonny, I've been a business reporter now for 27 years. And Mm -hmm. in that time, I lived through the beginning of AIM. Very similar sort of conversations we had 27 years ago or 20 odd years ago with with the start of AIM. Really interesting market. Let's move away from that and talk a little bit more about what's in the pipe for you um, as a company and what you're doing for the rest of this year. What's your priority now that you seem to have got this lithium business taped, or at least the Mm. beginnings of it, the hinterland? Um, You mentioned copper, you mentioned other battery metals. What's the next priority? Look, the lithium will, will get nicely stabilised and we'll get producing at good volumes. That's, that's going to carry on throughout mm. 2023. Uh, the copper project we have up in Tanzania, um, we've put out lots of pictures, reports of the grades and assays of that. It's spectacular. Um, you look at that material, it's green, it's blue. You don't have to be a geologist to recognise that no, is no, incredibly no. high grade. So that is something which we've, we've very publicly stated that in the second half of this year, we will again move to bring that into production. Mm. Uh, we will move to negotiate with various offtake parties that have contacted us and approached us a way of how we're going to sell that project, uh, that, sell that project's material. So that is something which I'm very excited about for 2023. But then on top of that, towards the, the second half of the year, the back end of it, you're going to see the graphite assets come through. And graphite is a sector which is, you know, it's catching up with lithium in terms of the, the, the market sentiment for it. And we've got, what is it, over 25 granted mining licenses in graphite. So we're not exploring exploring there. These are mining licenses. Mm. So we can move very quickly to start producing from them. Mm. You speak very eloquently about, very passionately about the business. Obviously, you you would do as chief executive. I guess you own part of the business, Mm. your your share capital owner. I'm the single largest shareholder in this company. Okay. Uh, What's your background? Do you get your hands dirty at the the, the mine face? I mean, obviously, you're you're a busy man. You you don't spend every day with a hard hat on, but are you you a money man? What's your background? Look, I graduated as a mining engineer and got my hands dirty working in South Africa, in Western Australia, and in Canada. Mm. So I did that. Um, I came here to the city of London, worked on the mining finance side for a number of investment banks, for Climate Benson, and then with Rothschilds, I moved to Australia. most of my career, if not all of it, has been focused on Africa. Mm. So whilst with Rothschilds, I was financing mining projects in Africa. Mm. So my background, yes, mining, I, I've, my hands don't get that dirty these days, but I, I love getting out there onto the project sites and seeing yeah. things. 
But it, it's building these companies. It's, yeah. it's raising the finance. It's bringing in the management teams because, mm. you know, I'm just one of, of several people involved in this company. You've got to build a strong team around you, particularly when you operate in Africa. Yeah. Great story. Thanks indeed for dropping by. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Do keep in touch. Because I will do. We want to find out more about this as the things develop. But uh, Jason, in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Jason Brewer, uh, the Chief Executive of Maruna Mining.